So some good news has come out when it comes to the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low Reverse Mocha. Now typically whenever these rumors come out about release dates when it comes to anything related to Travis Scott, I normally kind of pump the brake a little bit and just see if it's really true. But the expected date for this sneaker, which I've been looking forward to, and I didn't think was actually going to happen, is going to be July 21st apparently, where this is going to be releasing in full family sizing. Now, I honestly didn't believe it at first, but then I checked on GOAT and then I seen that there was early pairs available going for like around 3000 to 3500 bucks. And what's interesting about that is I didn't see any on StockX currently, but guys, it's coming, it's going to happen, and uh, you know, it's going to be tough to get these sneakers. Uh, I've been looking forward to this release, to be honest with you. I really do like the original Travis Scott, uh, Jordan 1 Low, a lot. And then obviously the Fragment collaboration that came out back in 2021 is straight fire. But this reverse mocha, this one, this one's special. This is a clean sneaker, a very fire sneaker, and I hope that I'm able to hit it for retail. Now, I think the retail price tag is going to be $150 for these. That's how much the Fragment Jordan 1 Lows cost last summer when they released, but Jordan Brand has been upping their prices. I really wouldn't be shocked if these were $170 or $200. It really doesn't matter. It's going to sell out regardless. Um, typically, whenever Travis Scott releases sneakers, they drop on his website. And then they also drop on the Nike sneakers app. Now, not all the time. Sometimes the sneakers app doesn't release Travis Scott's like the uh, the Fragment Highs never drop. But, you know, they did drop on his website. So it's going to be a tough one, guys. I'm hearing that the stock numbers for these are going to be stupid limited. And you know how that goes. So, you know what I mean? It's going to take a lot of footwork. It's definitely going to take a little bit of luck, you know, to be able to secure these for retail. But like I said, I am really excited to see this Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low finally release. But let me know down in the comment section below how you feel about the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott Reverse Mocha. Is this a cop? Is this a pass? And let me know, are you willing to pay resale for this if you catch an L? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd like to thank you all for your time and stopping over here and checking out another one of my videos. I really do appreciate you guys. I'm on that road to 5,000 subscribers, so if this is your first time here visiting my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss videos like this. And until next video, peace.